New Orleans. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. The New Orleans Saints taking on the New York Giants. It is always a celebration here in the city of New Orleans, and we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Superdome. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the New York Giants. Nifty running by Barkley there on first down. He scoots forward for seven yards, sets him up nicely, second and three. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what, he understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. Shepard going to get a chance to run. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. That second down play nets a minus four. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. And he's taken down inside the 30. So pass interference, the call, and that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. Now Saquon Barkley. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Back to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you... Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that nearly intercepted. 
Well, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They're going to look to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. to throw completes it to Evan Ingram and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line successful start to the drive 17 yards and moves the sticks one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 now a throw here hauled in and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They'll look to throw here. Looking for Shepard deep. This throw incomplete nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. On third down, Barkley. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. set up to throw trucks over him and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line good coverage downfield led to him taking off picking up the first down on a 13 yard run so it's halftime here in New Orleans with a safe Now back to throw. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. Broke a tackle, but not much room there. Just up past the 25, no further. Three yards the gain there, second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Kenny Galladay, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's... They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll run it again with Barkley. And this will go for five up to the 33. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Flush to his right. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. We'll take that. We'll take that. 
With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. They'll set up a throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football. But how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. That's to Galladay, and he's got it. Touchdown, New York. Kenny Galladay. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Giants have taken the lead. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talent. First down carry for Barkley. Demario Davis, Saints leading tackler last year, in on the stop that time. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. The Giants on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Able to slither by, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Now that definitely hurts, because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. for Shepard deep and that'll be incomplete we do have a penalty flag down however let's see what that's about so pass interference the call and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side or on their sideline because and he is in touchdown Giants Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. And just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, a contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds pulling over with the penalty? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Hey. 
After the penalty, they go with Barkley. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Barkley. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Looks like he'll throw here. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. Heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. tuck and run and it'll get him a new set of downs not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten now here's a look for the end zone but that one's gonna wind up incomplete so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down and this is caught and that could seal it it's a touchdown They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. This one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. So for the Giants, that early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. and And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Big D to take on the Cowboys. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.